All right, so this is actually um, uh, my, my new game that I'm working on. I built it in the last two weeks, but I haven't had a game for it yet. So I said, okay, I'm gonna make the hardware first. And uh, so this is a uh, uh, yet unnamed game controller, and it has these um, doorstopper springs, 36 of them here, and it's surrounded by these LED lights that are individually controllable, so it's basically like a screen. And each of these springs has a little sensor inside, so you can fling them and they right now emit a little, little bit of light. The idea for this one is to have like a, like a big board and it's extendable, so maybe like a, at one point like a massive wall of springs, which you can kind of just wobble along and like it's very tactile and super <laughs> direct feedback. Especially with these hardware games, my process is that I start with an input mechanic, so like, a, like actually like a physical mechanic, like for example a spring and it kind of wobbles. So it's like, okay, it's nice, but how do I actually measure this? So and then so I figure out, okay, you need to use the sensor. And the next step is, okay, I have this input. Now what can I make around it that is fun and like very small and I can also convey to the player what I do. Cause like I don't have like, you know, big graphics or sound cues or at least not yet. So it's usually starting from, from this input mechanic to a game mechanic and then to a game. And uh, sometimes that's tricky because often there, there, there might be no game, so it just kind of becomes a toy. Making these hardware games is now easier than ever, I think, especially because you have the Arduino as a compo core component that is like a like tiny microchip, but you program with your computer, and it's very easy to interface with sensors, with LEDs, with any kind of mo motors, for example. Another good thing about it is the community of it is amazing. It's very big, and it's offline and online, so you have like good forums where people will have guaranteed solved your problem already that you might, might have had. And offline as well, there's like hack spaces where people actually work on these things. So it's um, fairly easy to get started from the electronic side. And then the hardware stuff, the, 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 the wooden bits and so on, you can also make in these hack spaces. So it's laser cutters, 3D printers, and people are very happy to help you out on these.